5.1.4 or 7.1.2 which is the best atmos configuration for your room let us try to find out in today's video but before that let me introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya and since last 9 years me and my team have been designing these home theater systems which include atmos configurations and what we realized is that many of you do not know which home theater systems to buy you are confused between all the brands that you are coming across you are getting confused between how to select between the sound or with the projector and to make it easy for all of you we started this channel to give you best tips hacks product reviews comparisons whatever it takes we do it all to ensure that you get the right information and you can make well informed wise and correct decisions while buying anything to everything in the home cinema space now before understanding 5.1.4 and 7.1.2 which is better let us first understand what is 5.1 what is 7.1 what are all these numbers and how are they related with each other and what kind of amplifier or electronics you need to buy now in case you know all of this already then don't forget to skip to this particular time stamp and for those let us begin well 5.1 and 7.1 are dolby digital formats for instance in 5.1 you have got three speakers in the front two speakers at the back that's how you get your surround sound experience and there is a subwoofer which gives you the bass cause the subwoofer bass is only felt and not heard it is calculated in points so the five main speakers and one subwoofer put together is your 5.1 configuration In a 7.1, what we do is we break the surrounds into a more detailed surround, wherein you get side surrounds and you get back surrounds. So you get two sides and two backs and three fronts. Put together, these speakers in your listening level position are seven, and with that you have one subwoofer, which becomes 7.1 system. So what we understood from this is that a 7.1 is definitely going to be a more deeper experience than a 5.1. Okay so this is all about 2D surround sound. What is 3D surround sound? 3D surround sound typically what we come across as a word is Dolby Atmos, right? Dolby Atmos is one of the audio language wherein this 5.1 or 7.1 are added with extra height channels. So you can add two speakers, you can add four speakers, you can add six speakers in the ceiling or in the height channels and get a sound layer which is coming from top. So it's add, it adds another dimension to this 2D sound and that's why it is referred as the 3D sound. and it is more immersive more better to engage with the content that you are watching and atmos is no doubt one of the future technologies because most of the ott platforms work on atmos and not the other formats so dolby atmos is very very crucial to have in today's modern or a futuristic home theater now in the same 5.1 if you add two speakers it becomes 5.1.2 if you add four speakers it becomes 5.1.4 similarly in a 7.1 if you add two speakers it becomes 7.1.2 if you add four speakers it becomes 7.1.4 these are the terminologies that are used in atmos wherein the listener level and the subwoofer stays the way it was in the previous chapter and we have just added the height channels with regards to the number based upon how many quantity you install them and to run a 5.1.4 or a 7.1.2 channel or a audio configuration you need a 9 channel av receiver or a 9 channel amplifier so 9 channel cause it will drive the 9 speakers so if you are clear till this let us now understand which is better Now when it comes to selection between 5.1.4 and a 7.1.2 I have made it very very simple I put it across with three main factors and these three factors are number 1 your room size room size plays a very very important role in understanding that how many speakers do you need so that you get that immersive experience so let's say if the room size is in a manner wherein the width is very wide and the length is also equally high for instance a dimension of 18 feet by 14 feet now 14 feet is a pretty wide distance but in case you have got only 10 feet as the width and the depth still remains 18 feet then that would be considered as a smaller one in this smaller configuration two surrounds can work well so you can definitely stick to 5.1 and you can put four speakers in atmos for a more immersive experience but in case your room is wide wherein we go back to the 18 feet by the 14 feet formula the 14 feet is pretty wide and in that case you will need to have 
surround speakers on the side as well as at the back so that makes it a 7.1 and you can have two speakers in the ceiling now this is one of the ways wherein we decide as to how 5.1.4 or 7.1.2 can be a combination in your room the second factor that we consider is the number of rows the number of rows is again very very important because if the number of rows are more than one or that is two or three then you would definitely need side surround as well as rear surround but in case it's just a single row and you are doing it in the living room then you can stick to 5.1 point Oh, sorry, you can stick to 5.1.4 as a configuration and 7.1.2 may not be a necessity in your case. So that's how number of rows of sitting in that particular room or in that particular environment is very very important to understanding or selecting between 5.1.4 and a 7.1.2 configuration. Now the third factor which is very important between selecting a 5.1.4 or a 7.1.2 format is the audio content. For instance, if you are going to be playing a lot of games, you don't need a 4 channel Atmos, you need 7.1.2 as the right configuration. But in case you are going to mostly watch all the Dolby Atmos content in that room, I would say stick to 5.1.4. Now obviously there is not much of content in, in movies as well for Atmos and in that case going for a 7.1.2 would be more better because you will still have a lot of content in the 7 channel format which is the DTS format because we have seen that in Bollywood particularly the DTS content is more popular than the At Dolby content and the DTS which works on the 7 channel and 5 channel obviously has got more popular gain so if the OTT content is more in that format it's better to do a 7.1.2 than a 5.1.4 now in case you're still confused and unable to come to a conclusion whether to go for a 5.1.4 or a 7.1.2 let us still make it more easy for you by understanding one of the fantastic tools or feature that an AVR has given you and that feature is of presets. If you are buying a new home theater system, it has got something called as preset. Now this is typically observed more in the Denon and the Maran's AV receiver wherein you can configure one preset according to the 5.1.4 and you can have the second preset according to the 7.1.2. And how do you achieve both? Well, what you can do is your back surround can be something which is in the ceiling or very near to the ceiling and angle speakers towards your ear, which you can configure either as surround back or as a top back or top rear Atmos channel. And by keeping these two presets different, the calibration will be different. The levels and the frequency settings would be all different. But according to the content that you play or the content that you consume you can constantly shuffle just with the remote control between the surround back and the atmos height channels as per your requirement so i hope that this video gave you the right answer between a 5.1.4 and a 7.1.2 configuration personally if you ask me i would have a system which can take me to 7.1.4 so that way i get 11 channels and i can play around with it if not those who are on a limited budget and you want to spend on a nine channel system then i have already given you the hack by using the presets so if this video has helped you don't forget to hit the like button so that youtube can share this with more such people who are confused just like you and Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that we both can stay connected. And I, Tanmay Mehta, your home technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will see you again in the next video. Thank you. Aray, by the way, other way, I forgot to tell that the links for designing best home theater are shared above as well as in the description. Wo please add kar dena yaar, please.